The Why Cafe by John P. Strzelecki Summary from 4-Minute Books Written by Maria Dayak One-sentence summary The Why Cafe is a book about how to find your purpose and live the life you have imagined, based on a fictional encounter in a simple yet magical cafe. Favorite quote from the author Results come from constantly applying what you know, not just knowing. John P. Strzelecki John, a busy manager, was on his way to his much-needed vacation. Suddenly, he ran out of gas and ended up at the Y Cafe. On the back of the menu, he found three existential questions. Why are you here? Do you fear death? And are you fulfilled? What a weird cafe, right? Perhaps it depends on who you ask. For John... This experience was a wake-up call. He realized that he wasn't fulfilled with his life. He wasn't living according to his given purpose on earth. I think we can all relate to the John's experience in one way or another. Deep down, we all know what we're capable of and what we can achieve if we put our minds to work. Don't you ever catch a glimpse of what life could be like if you lived it to its highest potential? If you want to experience more of that outstanding feeling, The Why Cafe will reveal some of the key secrets to a happy, meaningful life. Here are my three favorite lessons from the book. 1. Material things can actually make us more unhappy in the end. 2. Find your purpose and once you do, don't let anyone stand in your way. 3. When you realize what you want out of life and manifest it, you'll attract more luck. Let's explore them one by one. Lesson 1. Don't fall into the trap of materialism set by advertisers. As humans, we are visual creatures. We love to look at things, feel them, showcase them, and advertisers know it. In fact, this is how they build their successful businesses and manage to get into our minds. They make us think that the key to happiness lies in more and more possessions. They create ads that are meant to be glamorous and desirable. And they promise that once you buy yourself a particular thing, you'll be happy. Or at least happier. In fact, spending more makes you inflate your lifestyle, increases your desire to buy more and more things, and achieve that promised happiness, all while keeping you engaged in this vicious cycle. On top of that, all these things keep you from targeting your focus and resources towards your true purpose. Therefore, to live meaningfully, you'll have to start adopting a more minimalist lifestyle and try to find happiness in undertaking purposeful endeavors rather than buying unnecessary luxuries. Although we may not realize it, we are wired to the idea that material things bring happiness. Therefore, we pick higher paying jobs instead of pursuing our dream careers. Then we feel frustrated and miserable, living every day feeling like we have no real meaning. How disappointing! it's time to step back and reconsider your priorities. For example, if you're hardly ever at home, you probably don't need a condo with a view, right? The lesson here is to find meaning in what you do rather than through your possessions and spending money to feel better. Lesson two, finding your purpose is your most intimate experience, so don't let anyone ruin it for you. As we go through life, There are certain occasions when we experience remarkable, electrifying experiences that no one but ourselves seems to understand. For a passionate mechanic, it can be pretty difficult to explain why fixing a car gives him an inexplicable sense of satisfaction and happiness. Still, it does. And even if repairing cars is not your thing, you too have something that sparks a little light in your heart when you encounter it. Frankly, whatever that is, You should pursue it, above all other variables. Material things are just a trap set by profit seekers, as we've discussed in the previous lesson. So how about other obstacles you may face? Here I'm trying to emphasize the enormous impact our friends and family have on us. Although we may not realize it, the people we surround ourselves with play an important role in our development and our future actions. Most often than not, We're afraid of what our relatives, friends, and community will have to say about our decisions. Unfortunately, this thought can hold us back from achieving our dreams. 
In the end, it all comes down to what you love doing. Therefore, mark down the times when you feel most alive, when something clicks in your head and your heart, and when you feel happy doing something. Then, try to pursue those things and make them part of your life. It doesn't matter if it brings you financial benefits or what your acquaintances would think. Now, before we get into lesson number three, if books like this one inspire you to live your best life and accomplish your dreams, you should download our free list of the top 10 most motivational books ever written. After summarizing over 1,000 books, we handpicked these 10 best of the best and turned them into a visually stunning, easily skimmable PDF. Use it to pick your next great read and stay inspired en route to your biggest goals. Simply enter your email using the link below this video, confirm in your inbox, and we'll instantly send you the list, free of charge. All right, let's dive into lesson number three. Lesson three. Living according to your own definition of happiness will make the universe work even harder for you. If you've discovered your purpose and you're ready to live according to your own happiness formula, congrats, you're halfway there. Living a happy, meaningful life is definitely achievable, yet the how part is something you'll have to figure out on your own. While there are ways to help yourself discover what your purpose is and how to overcome challenges in the process of self-discovery, there's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all formula for living your life. Simply put, you must pursue whatever makes you happy in a way that makes you happy. If you find pleasure in working as little as possible and spending time with your family, so be it. If you enjoy painting for hours and hours every day, try to do it as much as possible. While there's no right way to live your life, there is a wrong way, not following your inner purpose. On top of that, it gets even better. Once you start living meaningfully, the universe will make everything else happen for you. Haven't you noticed how people who seem to be the most fulfilled are also extremely lucky? It's like everything is working in their favor. Well, maybe it is like that. Live purposefully and good luck and happiness will follow. It's just an unwritten rule of life. Unfortunately, there's no amount of money in the world that can fix this rule if you don't follow all the steps. Hey, this is Nick, the founder of 4-Minute Books, and if you found this book summary inspiring, then I'm sure this next one will motivate you even more to make your dreams come true. Click through and keep crushing it.